Coping with the witching hour from a pediatric sleep consultant. The witching hour most commonly shows up at about two to three weeks of age. It peaks between six and eight weeks and usually completely disappears somewhere between three and four months. It's most commonly categorized by unexplained crying that happens somewhere between 5 p.m. and 11 p.m. every single day. And unfortunately, the things that normally work to calm your baby down tend not to work during these unexplained crying periods. While there isn't a lot you can do about the witching hour or the onset of it, I went through this with my eldest, and so I wanted to offer my top tips to help you get through it. It sounds simple, but make sure that the schedule you're following for them is biologically appropriate. If you aren't sure, download the Smart Sleep Coach by Pampers to help you with that wear your baby, use a carrier or a sling. It was a lifesaver for me. She would cry somewhere between kind of 6 and 9 p.m. every single day. And I would struggle to do simple things like make dinner. By wearing her, I was able to do a few things while bouncing around the house and trying to keep her calm. Try a change of scenery. Getting outside can work wonders for those witching hour cries. Ask for help. The next time a friend or family member offers to help you, take them up on it. Take an hour to yourself or just use the time to make dinner. And remember, it's okay to take a break. There were a few times when my baby was crying so much, I didn't know how I was going to handle it. So I would place her down in her crib safely and just walk away for a couple of minutes to breathe, reconcile my thoughts, regroup, and then go back and get her. And if you need to do that, that is the safest and best thing to do. Remember, this too shall pass. You're doing an amazing job. Hang in there.